Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, today we want I want to review um, uh, something that a friend of mine, KRN, has written, and uh, it's actually he's one of our no, it's actually he was the contest winner for the first contest that we did here at Excel VBA is Fun. Um, he won the inventory management uh, creation uh, contest that we did. Anyway, he is back at it again. He sent me this workbook with something that they do at his um, airport company um, it's kind of like a retirement benefit anyway he created a calculator for them basically if you have accumulated a certain number of points after you've worked there for uh, a certain number of years or whatever then you get to fly for free anywhere you want to go and I guess you have to pay taxes on international flights but still I mean it's a maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars to go to you or you know anywhere you want so pretty cool anyway he created this calculator but he does have a slight dilemma uh, it's lining up some of these labels to where they look you know symmetrical or or, or lined up uh, parallel with each other or whatever so we are going to take a look at the calculator first then we'll take a look and see if we can help fix the label problem so I'm gonna enter a birth date here we're gonna do um, let's see let's do March 15th of uh, 1965 and if they were hired on let's say they were hired on Christmas Day uh, back in uh, 1989 and what would my flea f uh, fly free date be then let's find out so it brings up this nice fancy user form uh, <clears throat> looks like they've already they've already had their free fly for life date of uh, February 2nd of 2010 so uh, the age it says that their current age is 49 years a month and 27 days higher date uh, you've been here at the company for 24 years 4 months and 17 days <clears throat> their age at the fly free date at this date would be 44 years yeah, you are already eligible for free travel for life as of February 2nd 2010 congratulations you made it that's a nice touch D and he has a disclaimer about the accuracy very nice very legalistic let's exit that and let's do another one Let's do December fifteenth, two thousand. Oh no, not born then. Let's uh, let's do nineteen and fifty four. But they were only hired in um, in ninety three. Let's do uh, one one nineteen ninety three. Oh dang it! I did it again. Let's see here. And uh, four sixteen of uh, uh, two thousand three, maybe. Okay, it's yellow. Okay, here we go. So they are going to be free for life into two thousand twenty seven. It says, "Did you just start at the company?" <sighs> no, if they've been there for eleven years, they didn't just start at the company. But anyway, you see how it works. You also might notice that this label, uh, well, first of all, this label is highlightable, so I'm wondering if that's actually a text box. It just looks like a label. I don't know. Anyway, these are highlightable, and the, these typically a label is not highlightable, so that makes me question that. Uh, at any rate, let's take a look and see if we can line these up. And typically, a text box is not perfectly lined up with a label. You have to tweak it. So let's hit Alt F11 and take a look at the user form. Let's see here. Here it is. So let's full screen that for just a moment. Okay. This is a text box. Yes, it sure is. Okay. So, and then this one looks like it's aligned, but it's not. And same for this and same for this. So what we need to do see you could drag it across it they look perfectly aligned but it's the way that text boxes and labels for some reason they just line up differently so let's look at the top let's go down scroll down and look at the top the top the top of this one is 54 
And the top of this one is, well, you guessed it, 54. They're, they, by all intents and purposes, they're perfectly aligned. However, we want to either take all three of these text boxes and make the top a little bit um, less. Let's make it 52 for this one. And then let's make this one 70 instead of the 72 that it currently is. And let's change this one to 88 instead of 90. And I just reduced it by 2. Let's just see how that looks. That looks a lot more aligned. In fact, we might add one and just subtract 1 from the total. I uh, hope that made sense. Let's take this one. And instead of it was 54, and now it's 52. Let's make it 53. Uh, this one, let's make this one 71, which is in between 70 and 72. And make this one 89. And I'm going to open the user form. That looks pretty well aligned. You could even go as far as to change this to this exact same format as the label here. But I think he wanted to make the size of this font a little bit larger. I think it's a little bit larger font. I could click here and double click on font and double and check. This one's Tahoma 8 regular. And this one is Tahoma 8 regular. Okay, false alarm. Uh, that's how I would do that. So you have a text box here as well. In fact, you could use a label also. It's just if you wanted to copy and paste on these, then you do what he did there. So again, find the top, the T-O-P, and we're going to make that from 54 to 53. Click here, hit F4. That means I could type 71. Click here, F4, 89. And we've got, what do we have here? 54 is now 53. Click here. Hit F4 to select that field so I can type over it. 71. Click here, F4, 89. Is there anything else? Maybe this one right here. Whatever it is right now, I'm going to hit F4 and type 23 instead of 24. And how does that do? So yeah, they're pretty well lined up now. That looks a little bit a little bit nicer, I think. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could also... Uh, oops. Control-Z. I meant to highlight these three. And... Oop, nope, whatever I did there, I'm going to undo that too. Alright, fine. So highlight these three. Double click on the font. And uh, you can kind of... Let's say you wanted to make them bold. In size 9 or some other font, you could. Well, I'm just going to make all three of these bold. So whenever I click here and hit F5 or click that. Now these are... Uh, they kind of stand out. 28 years, 4 months, 29 days. They look a little different. Anyway, they're lined up. The boldness is, is a preference thing. So, anyway, um, we'll go ahead and do that with the other ones, just for kicks. Double click. Bold. Okay. Click and drag. Double click on font. Bold. Click OK. Click here. Double click on, whoops, double click on font, bold, click OK, and butter bing, hit F5. Everything's going to be bold here for the actual numbers that you're looking at. And you could even do that to this date. Also, the higher date here, for certain dates, it kind of stuck out. So one thing I might do is extend that so that it's allowed to breathe a little bit, has a little bit of room in case the text box label or whatever is a little bit too fat so anyway Kevin did a great job and this looks really cool so good job Mr. Kevin and uh, thanks everybody else for watching this workbook I have received permission from Kevin to uh, allow you to download that if you want to play around with the code and play around with the user form you sure can Kevin said that we can use this. So just cl uh, click on the Dropbox link in the video description. You can download this right away and start playing with it. Do whatever you want with it. It's yours, okay? Thanks for watching again, and God bless.